listen to as an audiobook. Yeah. Yeah, no, Harrison, uh, you, yeah, yeah, no, you, you try listening to a Chinese audiobook written aloud in English, it's like, uh, you're just gonna have to hold that, I'm afraid. Mm, the same right. way that one of these two players is gonna be holding a W, and one is gonna be holding an L. We're about to see which one. Okay, thank you for the switch. Okay, so, I mean, uh, I will say, y'all should read real things like Warrior Cats. Uh, I'm gonna be, so, unironically, I think, like, the... What is it? Yeah, the third Warrior Cat series is actually pretty good. The first one is like really just really boring. The second one's like a Watership Down rewrites. Mm. Um, and then like the third one, they actually do some kind of interesting things uh, with like uh, I think like religion or whatever. They yeah, like I haven't thought about that. Warrior Cats in a long time. I read them so much uh, when I see the cat warrior. <laughs> we have our own Warrior Cat on screen, indeed. <laughs> I actually really like that much. Yeah, that's that a was, good that one. That was pretty good. Um, so, yeah, we're going to run in. And just So, basically, um, Ventro did win this, I think, the last time they played, but it was a pretty close. Um, I do think thing. this could go either way. With how, uh, with how Ventro... Uh, just plays with how slow he can go. I feel like he can kind of just wait out a lot of Incineroar's, uh, you know, stupidness. Uh, but with how D-Money was playing in that last game, or in that last set, I feel like he was getting a good feel of just, like, the game state as a whole. And so, I think this could go either way. Yeah, I mean, like, so we're gonna throw out, and that's just gonna cash out immediate, like, immediate cash out on the rage. Which, like, I mean, the point of the rage isn't it doesn't necessarily send kind of a kill off in there, it is to just kind of. Uh, Attack on damage. Well, uh, like, Maybe. Um, well, like, parry the minecart, so to speak. Okay, there, jump out. Fuck the badgers. Oh, you're not saying that shit in Madison. No, no, no. Madison. Where are you? Where are you, Raymond? Oh, uh, yeah, Harrison. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Going down to Georgia? Yeah, we're going down to Georgia. Scourge uh, one tapping Tiger Star was raw. The, yes, yes. Scourge is probably the coolest character in that whole series. Uh, yeah, then, <laughs> uh, all right. Well, I mean, uh, actually, and speaking of like cats and uh, you know one tapping, <laughs> D Money, you know, kind of pulling into a lead right now. Mm -hmm. there. See if he has one. See if he has one attack that takes out three stocks. <laughs> You know, sometimes fighting Incineroar, that's kind of how it feels. Incineroar, Luigi, Kazuya. Sometimes it feels like you're playing on so, uh, so few stocks that you can barely even live for one. It's like, it's like I'm on my last stock, and you're, and you're, it's like you're, I'm on my last stock, and you're like, uh, you're up three stocks to one. <laughs> so you just feel miserable. <laughs> of course. He's just gonna disengage, doesn't really want to get in any scramble situations with um, Derek. So I will say, um, Derek uh, did say that one, that, like, he actually uh, did beat. No um, way. No. Yeah. No. If Revenge side B sometimes yeah. produces some of the stupidest kill screens I've ever seen. Yeah. Well, you're not dead. No. no not dead. Oh, oh you wow, are you are dead. Okay, Ooh. Derek, taking game one. Rather explosive. R Harrison, have you considered that Scourge is just is just really cool? Have you considered that? Have you considered that maybe Scour Scourge is cooler than a fucking car? Have you considered that, Harrison? I mean, you can get, tell the chat if you've considered that. Or they're not. As we load into this game, too. You know, I've never read the Warrior Cat series. I think I read, like, one book one time. But I... It would have been in, like fourth grade yeah. my my little sister was really into it so i read most of it um at least you know i don't know how much there is oh that was <laughs> oh my <laughs> goodness oh. why did why did derek leave this stage open i have to know i have to know uh, yeah what 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 in his mind said yeah i'll leave fd open against steve one up instantly bullish <laughs> <laughs> I mean, this is indeed the bull market. Oh, you're gonna jump out, gonna get a... Alright. Gonna just reset and... I'm gonna get some... Oh, you are not... That's not even gonna get rid of all the rage, so Derek still's got that on his... Uh, on his he still got that as an option. That's gonna actually get rid of the rage, though. Oh, oh my goodness. A 
and uh, this uh, this one definitely looking like the definition of bench over, right? Flip the dictionary. <laughs> Here we go. Okay, that's gonna. I love that he like uh, did dash attack to catch Vencho backing up ever so slightly, but it's gonna take a little bit more than that. This is how it start. Well, this is how Vencho's uh, win starts. Forty-seven percent, virtually unanswered. Derek tries to up to like up smash there, but Vencho that? actually beats it out. All right, Vencho not getting the three stock there at the very least. Let's see if D Money can. Bring this back. Good parry on Pinecart and Revenge lasts long enough. 51%. Big damage. Big, big damage. Very classic for Incineroar. Yeah, tries to like get a little bit. Oh, fully charged. Oh. And Vencho just cleans it out. Yeah, like I said, I don't know what possessed Derek to leave FD open when fighting against Steve, but. I think he's learned his lesson by this point. Yeah, yeah, no, uh, I don't, I, I'd be surprised if, like, Derek, uh, honestly, after that, Derek, I think Derek might be kicking himself, actually. Like, that's actually, this is kind of a common refrain, so I drive him home, so I get to hear his thought process after he wins and after he loses, mm. and, uh, like, a lot of times he's like, man, why did I leave that open? Mm. Oh, yeah. no, oh, God, no. Oh, please, no, God, God. Derek! He's oh, oh, leg! Oh, my Lord. You know the worst part about this? We actually do have to commentate this seriously because Derek has kept it close before. All right, so Little Mac is, um, well, not a very good character, right? No, he's very famously a poor character due to his lack of aerial mobility. Yeah, bad aerial mobility, not so great recovery, loses hardcore to platform. The thing is, he does actually have, like, a couple decent qualities, mainly good, like, frame data, solid armor. The up B is actually, I think, invincible on startup. Um, yeah, and then of course he does have a very very fast nair, which, albeit not very good because it's a little Mac aerial. Right. So even though it is frame one and can get some good combos on heavies, I don't think that's very helpful in this particular matchup. Right. But I mean, all of the all of this, you know, the, the good down tilt, the armor, you know, all of that, the counter, which the counter some, it, some sends you works. miles away. Yeah. So all at the very this... least, it gets you some sort of yeah. like move in some direction. Yeah, but all this is kind of a slideshow to the actual, uh, the Little Max actual best quality, which is the KO Punch. KO Punch, of course, being his biggest X Factor yeah. in yeah. any matchup. Okay, this is... Oh, and, and he is uh, out of iron. He's out of iron, messing was, up the sky mine. That was a really kind of, um, that was really kind of a botched um, attempt there. So KO Punch, um, obviously very strong. Goes through shield, by the way. <laughs> mm -hmm. Well, actually, just not even. Goes through shield, break. goes through counters. Yeah. So, like, just kind of the ultimate equalizer, but it does disappear. Yeah, it does disappear now. after you take uh, too much knockback. Yeah, and like, if that's kind of that bit of an obscene angle there, but the, the, oh, that's going to be another back throw. That's going to uh, give Venture a little bit more time to mine. He is actually short of materials. Uh, Oh, TNT is going to take both stocks there. Even game right now. Alright, just gonna jab. Alright, you are uh, you're not an air fighter, Mac. Uh, never mind, he up in the air. Right. I I understand that what what was he just standing on a broken block for like two seconds there? I don't know what he was going for. Oh, and then you no longer have a KO punch. This is another reason why Little Mac um, has uh, issues. You can just beat the KO punch out of him. It's fairly trivial to do. It's not even a thing where it's like, yeah, you can uh, wait out Joker like, you know, Arsene, but it actually takes right. a lot of effort. Um, like, Little Mac can lose his KO punch more or less just by accident. Up B, that's going to be a good good Wow. D-Money doing a good job of keeping this even. However, I do think Vencho has been taking the stocks earlier. Yeah. And so I do think that's going to be the deciding factors. If D-Money can figure out a way to take uh, take the stock here, yeah. then of course it's going to... It's, go, it's going to be make or break, right? Yeah. And I'm thinking if he does end up winning, he will stick Mac for the rest of the set. 
And by the way, and once you side but, B once, you can't side B again. Yeah. However, I will say, if he wanted to, he could have burned KO once and still made it back there. Yeah, but you're, you're this set's base. The game's basically over at that point. Yeah. That's the thing. So, okay, let me let me explain to you guys uh, something about Little Mac mathematically. So, winning with Little Mac is, uh, get, taking a stock with Little Mac is basically like uh, winning a coin flip, right? Either you, this is simplifying a little bit, but either well, you get the KO punch or you die. Okay. The KO punch, I, right? I don't think we've okay. ever seen, I have never seen this at the very I least. I have, a, we tried it against Revolver, it didn't work. Mmm. Um, yet, like, literally yesterday. Oh. Uh, but, like, so, uh, I'll explain the Little Mac thing after. We got a different character right now. So, Diddy Kong, uh, kind of, um, famously, well, you know, we, you, we've all seen Tweak booming about, the, about like, uh, the, about Diddy Kong versus Steve. Um, this is, uh, not exactly a great matchup. Yeah, this doesn't seem like it would be a very good matchup on paper, considering yeah. how, how powerful, uh, Steve's defensive, uh, ability is. Yeah. Diddy Kong is basically a, like a very, a very like set up and neutral favorite character against a character, uh, who has to play against a character with nothing but setups and yeah. who can basically just control the neutral more or less by default. It's so, like you always play, you can all, you're always playing neutral on Steve's terms and uh, well, Diddy Kong can play neutral but like he doesn't get um, all the like he doesn't get to use his mobility to take you out quite as much he doesn't uh, get to use a lot of his better options, yeah. just based off the fact that Steve has block. Yeah, the, you, you can't just monk, you can't monkey flip through the block, and like 80 You can't just... A lot of the time, you can't really use banana in this matchup, because um, where you place it, or where it, where it lies, can just be completely invalidated, because Steve is just not going there. He's got a block, and he's just it behind it. Oh, you just lost the back to Golden back here. This is uh, looking pretty venture over, unfortunately. Yeah. yeah. Derek's gold, especially in uh, a matchup against a faster character, is definitely going to be a lot more powerful, considering just how fast you can swing with that, how fast you can throw out up airs and nares and jabs. I love that was such a good find on that forward air. Yeah, it was just really good coverage. Oh, oh. Uh, a oh. very fun combo to he, do there. He, he, he tried. He tried. Well, let's be honest. He tried a cheese venture there. Absolutely, he needed it. He needed to get that cheese. Yeah, and then a venture just like actually hits you um, off of the just like you know hits you off your own combo. He's so good in scramble situations, and that's I think kind of what elevates his Steve really. It's like yeah. his, his setups are good, but like. Even it's not just setups that he does. He also has solid advantage. He's uh, solid just as a player. He's got really good neutral. He understands the game still. So he's not solely relying on a lot of Steve nonsense. It's unfortunate there that he couldn't make it back. Eventually, he's 3-1. 3-1... So so yeah, let me explain something about Little Mac, right? Winning a game with Little Mac is like winning a is uh, is like a, winning 